the operators at NATO's Combined Air Operations Center in Germany are on high alert. They're tracking the path of a hostile ballistic missile. Their task is to intercept it. They have only minutes to react. The scenario is fictitious, simulated on these screens. But the technology is real and new. Inside this underground facility in Udem, Germany, NATO officials and commanders have come to see a demonstration of the Alliance's new command and control technology. For the first time, it will give allies the initial capability to protect deployed forces from missile attacks. What the interim capability does is bring together much more modern systems from many more nations, both space, sea and air-based, and soon to be land-based, that will have a much broader capability to defend ourselves from a whole range of threats. The breakthrough for NATO's active layered theater ballistic missile defense program is that allies from different nations will share tactical information securely and reliably between very different alliance systems. Another advantage is that the technology is mobile. It's housed in a truck right next to the facility. Each nation and, uh, and weapon system had the command and control its own command and control system. It was working on its own. Now, with this van, we are capable of putting all of them together, merging and exchange the information between one another, making one single, bigger, more exhaustive, more capable picture to provide to each of the unit a more engagement, a larger engaged capability. Following the successful demonstration, the capability was officially handed over to the military command level. For NATO, this marks an important first step in its efforts towards achieving a common missile defence shield as agreed upon in Lisbon. And this is very important uh, because there is a missile threat uh, out there. It's well recognised. There are 30 nations who possess or are developing ballistic missiles, so we have the responsibility to protect uh, our people and our territory uh, in Europe. Achieving that capability in the future is one of the biggest political challenges the Alliance faces. As far as the technology is concerned, General Alessandro Pera said this first step shows that the years of cooperation and partnering have paid off. This is Mike Mühlberger reporting from Udem, Germany for the NATO Channel.